We welcome back your original wing oh. woman, former Sunrise co-host <laughs> and our dear friend, Melissa Doyle. Mel, sat, Mel. we sat side by side for 11 years. Oh. She was instrumental in the success of the program. Without her, we wouldn't be where we are today. Mel. Welcome back Hi. to the couch. Thank you. <laughs> Matt and I said we shouldn't look at each other because we're going to cry. Oh, my gosh. How do you look back Congrats. on the time? Congrats. Uh, those early days. Yes. Oh my, people probably don't know, but our office was in a demountable in the car park. Yes, yes. We weren't even in the real building, were we? No one gave a toss about us. But how precious, I think, mm. the fact that we were able to grow from something so small. Do you remember when we bet um, our boss, Bolo, yep. to take us to lunch when we hit 40,000 viewers? Yeah. And you know, he's like, oh yeah, sure, as if that's gonna happen. And, and I think growing and the relationship with the viewers, the love, the crazy things we did, the fun things we did, the fact that we got to do it all in the beginning under the radar. Yep. You could, we had a Roswell, remember, and you'd write on it topics that yeah. viewers wrote yes. in and wanted us to talk about and we'd read emails and, oh, my God, we sang. That was crazy. I think we got to do it in a way that was so natural for every single person, all of us as a team. Yeah. Because the network so just ignored us. They didn't care because <laughs> that no. we were rating we were zero when we started. Yeah. So they just thought, oh, well, that'll Let never work. Let them do their thing. Just see what happens. Yes. And that was the beauty, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I think, you know, we've, everyone said it all morning about Koshi, but the fact that it was always about the viewers. We yep. were so aware from the very beginning. We weren't there for us. We were there for everybody at home watching. And we had this incredible platform that we could do something with. Mm. And, and we did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Highlights for you in those oh. early days. For me, it was those Black Saturday bushfires. Yeah. You were incredible mm. the As way you did. helped a community. Mm. Well, we both um, were. We were in different parts, remember? They separated yeah. us. You were at the football ground. I was over yeah. outside the community centre. And I think for us, it was recognition of the role that the program would play in, in news and in people's lives, that there was people mm. watching waiting to hear what was happening. What yep. was the news and the information they need? And I think at that time, it was such a, a momentous thing for us to recognise that the impact that a program could have yep. on helping people and assisting and disseminating information. And that was a really powerful thing. And, and Beaconsfield together because- Oh, that made me as, cry when I yeah. watched the guys. As, as Todd was yes. explaining, we got to know his mum and dad, yep. his wife, his kids. Yep. His son was still in primary school then and won a book prize. And with the money, used it to buy one of my joke books. <laughs> so they were- Whereas I could have given him my supply yeah. for free. Yeah. Yes, I know, yeah. you do. And, and yeah. that connection, that was the first time we met, we met Bill Shorten and Paul yeah. Howes because mm. they ran the union. Yes. And we met them sitting around the dinner table. And also, with I think, mum and dad. being so close to a community. You know, we were there all day, every day, and the local CWA ladies were making soup and feeding us. And, and yeah. you realise that, that it was like this. We talk about the Sunrise family, but my gosh, we felt it there yeah. more than anywhere. And that was a really special time that, yeah, I still get oh. teary when I and see that. But that was all under, people didn't realise that was happening. This was all happening behind the scenes. You guys were meeting yeah. them all, doing all this behind the scenes. Mm. You weren't doing stories on on them. No. But we figured if we could offer a distraction mm. for, for families that were going through a really tough time, then hey, mm. let's yeah. have a cup of tea. And this is uh, what the roller coaster is like because we came off that day. Oh, after yes. Breaking the story, we had to fly to Melbourne, yep. be in the Supreme Court the next court. day mm. for contempt of court, yes. wasn't it? From mm. a, a news item that we didn't speak about yeah. yep. because we hosted the show up yeah. before a judge. And and then, mm, then Junos were chasing <laughs> Mel down the street going, what's it going to be like to be a mother from prison? <laughs> That's so, <laughs> we, and the kids are at home the... and they're two and four. <laughs> and I remember ringing John saying, don't let them watch TV, don't let them watch television. <laughs> Mummy's not going to jail. All oh. <laughs> well, 20 of us were lining up. Oh, going into court. That was oh, horrendous. It was quite, quite a, to a dump. emotional right. roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we did have quite a few daggy moments down memory <laughs> lane. Let, let's take a look. Father, 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 help us. Since the skies are above, these people got me, got me questioning. Where is the love? 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 
and then he <laughs> could forget the uh, yeah. beat the recession dance. Reject the recession dance. Reject dancers. the recession Weren't they dance. fantastic? That yeah. was the stupidest thing I think we've ever done on this show. <laughs> Still oh, my God, that was so funny. <laughs> well, that's really going to reject the recession right there. <laughs> Where are they now? If you were one of the reject the recession dancers. Um, the other one, do you remember the campaign we ran, Give Fear the Flick? And people were driving around with bumper stickers saying, Give yeah. Fear the Flick. We yeah, got to campaign um, for things that mattered. I think that was probably the yeah, most precious and, thing. And the Call the Globe campaign. Oh this was oh, way yeah. before climate any change climate was in. change. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't we were in there. woke before we yeah. even knew it. Yeah. We yeah. didn't realise we were woke. <laughs> I know. Wow. It I just, but it was really, I think it was really precious knowing that there were things that mattered in people's yeah. lives and we could use this mm. to, to do something oh, with yeah. it. Well, God, there was so no special. social media, so we no. just put our stickers <laughs> Put our bumper stickers. We were so cool. <laughs> oh, we had no oh, idea man. we worked. Oh, it was so good. Okay, how did it's you adjust? Oh, um, getting your nights back is the best thing. The morning bit, you sleep in, no problem. But right. it's being able to go out at night and not have to do the 5.30 dinner booking, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cos so we, we all have to book the kids' time yes. at restaurants, don't we? So yeah. And when they say, I'm sorry, you're going to have to vacate by 8, oh, not a problem, I'll be gone by 7. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that now. Yeah. Yeah, have fun, uh, enjoy, oh, um, especially in granddad time. Yeah. That's going to be the most precious. I'm just so excited yeah, for you. We can hear. I think yeah, I can hear a bit. That's all yes. right. Don't, yeah, don't, don't shush your up. Don't worry, we don't just shush them. We've got some big surprises. Thank you so much, Mel. Good that on was you, mate. Great trip down memory lane. We have some big surprises still in store for Koshi this morning as we say goodbye. Plus, uh, his whole family, including the grandkids, as you can hear, are uh, here. Uh, this is a special edition of Sunrise. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>